So the unique constraint will ensure that each row for a column must have a unique value. It is like the primary key, but it can accept only one null value. So in a table, one or more column can contain a unique constraint. So what happens is like unique key, as, it's, as the name says, in any column which you are defining this constraint, that particular column should have unique values, first thing. Second thing, there can be multiple columns in a table on which you can apply this unique constraint, right? The third thing, the unique constraint will allow you to store null values for a particular column, right? So the only difference between primary key and unique key is like, both will store unique values, but the primary key constraint will not allow you to keep uh, insert null values in them. That's the only difference. And again, there are two ways in which you can define this constraint. First, while creating, creating the table itself. So the syntax still remains the same, column name, data type, constraint, the constraint name, which is default value, it's optional. And then the constraint that you want to add, which is unique in this case. And then for some reason, if you forgot to add a constraint while creating the DDL, you can always alter the table and add a constraint on the column name. So if you see the syntax here, the alter table syntax is same for check constraint, default constraint, and unique constraint. Only for not null, there was a difference where we had to alter table and then alter column also. But for all the other constraints, it's same. So you have to have the syntax add constraint, constraint name, and the constraint keyword along with the column on which you are going to apply the constraint. Right, so mm -hmm. let's see how this unique constraint works. So next constraint is the unique constraint. Right, so let's take this table again. So we have a not null constraint. Let's make the name as constraint. unique name, right, and the unique keyword. So we are adding a constraint on this employee name column, and we want to make sure the name of the employees in this particular table is unique. There are no duplicates. And this unique is the keyword for the constraint. And let's try to create this table. Okay, let me change it to employee unique. So will this create table be successful? It failed. It says there is already a constraint by the name gender default because yeah, we exactly. created this in this particular table, right? So with the same name, we cannot create. And if I run this again, I'll get an error saying 5000 underscore one also exists. So let's make it two, right? So let's run this. So now the table got created. So an ideal record for this table is this, let's insert this. So employees unique. So this is the ideal scenario. Everything is satisfying the constraint. So it got inserted. We can check that using select star from employees unique. So it got inserted. So let's copy this and create a few more insert statements. So this time, again, let me copy this part. I have an insert statement. I forgot to give the gender. So this will also get inserted because we have a default constraint applied on the gender column. So by default, it will give, get the gender as Oh, what happened? Where did it go? Sorry, table name did not change. Employees unique. Yeah. So now it should be here. So we have this. So two constraints are getting satisfied. And for example, in this case, if I give null as the employee ID, it will not allow me because we have a not null constraint on the employee ID. So that is also working fine. So 
let's say we give the employee id 102 and make the salary as 1000 it should not work because we have a checked salary constraint it should be more than 5000 that is also mm -hmm. working right so let me insert this record also oh it failed why rahul it failed? And rahul. yeah because we have a unique constraint on the name now exactly. and both the names cannot be rahul so if i change this name as raj it will be able okay. to insert that it did not work because salary should be more than 5000 mm -hmm. right now it inserted so all the constraint came into play now right similarly if i have to insert one more record let's say employee id 104 i keep the name same as raj gender is female salary 10001 it will not insert because there is a unique key constraint on raj but for some reason if I fail to provide a name, right? And I give a null value, it inserts. Let's check, right? So you see the name came as null now. So even though we have a unique key constraint on this employee name column, we can still insert the null values. So unique key will allow you to insert, insert null. null values. 